We are all from different countries. We are we have extremely different backgrounds, but we are like all nerds. And when I see these people, when I talk to them, I really feel like at home. It's like a very strange feeling because you understand that those people are completely different. They come from very different realities and still you feel like you have a lot of things in common. And it's been great to be able to share this experience with all of these beautiful people. Hello, I'm Paul, the team leader of Rebel Dynamics. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. The champions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. The winner team. Hello. Hi. Hello. From Team Soda. When we started the, the challenge, we started it in 2018. We had the first edition and our main goal at that moment was how we can uh, introduce students to uh, the domain of automated driving that we are uh, involved in and how can students understand better what we are doing but also work from the student year so they know what they are passionate about and afterwards they can easily uh, enter and start a, a career in this field. So in the competition we give uh, a car to the students, a 1 to 10 uh, scale model of a car that has everything that has to do for the car to be able to be steered from the keyboard. And then the responsibility of the students is to develop the intelligent part of the car. So to develop everything from perception based on cameras or lidar sensors or whatever sensors they want to add additionally, we give only a video camera and then to do the path planning, so that means that uh, the car is given the trajectories that it should follow, so that uh, uh, it's following the line, it knows what to do in intersections, and afterwards this command needs to be transferred to the wheels, so the car should really implement those, uh, those commands. I never really, uh, really applied a lot of the stuff I learned in my classes to something practical, like a self-driving car. Like I made those algorithms in my classes, I trained the machine learning models in my classes and for research, but being able to try to put this all together, it's a really cool experience. I haven't really been in so many team projects before, so being in this and really communicating, it shows me how important it is. Like for a team to know exactly what's going on with each section, even though it's kind of split with everyone's different like uh, knowledge. And it's really important for everyone to be caught up and doing it together. So everyone learns and everyone can improve because people know different things. So when the students compete, they have two challenges. One is a technical challenge and a speed challenge where they need to go as fast as possible. For the technical challenge, um, we have split it into mandatory and into optional things. What does mandatory mean? So the car will start from a starting point, it will follow then uh, some intersections, they need to recognize the traffic sign, they need to go only on the uh, green light, then they will follow and the car needs to go on a ramp, they need to park, they need to go uh, next to a roundabout and they need also to overtake a static car. So these are the main challenges that they need to overcome. Afterwards, if they are feeling confident, they can add additional challenges that will give them more points. I decided to participate mainly for the attractive prizes and also for the experience. Looking back, we've learned a lot uh, from uh, the algorithms that we've developed on this car. So. There are two reasons, the prizes and the experience. A very big part of uh, this contest is just uh, debugging, uh, writing code, testing, debugging again, writing code and testing. So you must have the right mind mindset if you want to participate. You get a lot of experience, but there is a cost indeed. Six months. Six months of work is 
a lot of work. And it is in these last few days we worked like we started at eight until like five here, and that we went towards the hotel and we st stay, continued to work until like three a.m. So these last uh, these last days were really work intensive. Yeah, because it's really different having the test track and really being able to use the GPS and the environmental survey and, and every, everything that only happens here that we couldn't test any time at home and like we really had to put in a lot of work this this week but at the end of the day we did it our car actually drives our car actually parked so yeah. it is possible with a lot of work but it is possible with the entire competition we are trying to create some kind of sprint where the teams can uh, have the time to test on the track and then they can go and implement the, the modification that they, they seen that they have to do and then they come back here. Do you think you're going to win today in your race? Uh, we'll see actually. Can you actually start the race for us? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Ready, set, go. I had a lot of fun today. The car didn't go perfectly, but most things don't go perfectly, so it's pretty nice. I like the I like the experience. Yeah, I had a lot of fun, even with the scavenger hunt, yelling in the Union Square. Hopefully you guys see that video. That one was nice. Today, we're going to cheerlead for Bosch Future Mobility Challenge. Are you guys ready? Make some noise! Yeah. Alright, here it goes. B! And F C Bye! I love you guys, thank you so much. I would say that it's not that competitive uh, that many many people may think. Uh, because we all we, we are all having fun uh, since we have our cars hitting each other, going into into the walls. Uh, also, we discuss with each other, so the atmosphere is, let's say, really collaborative. Uh, because we we discuss our approaches for different challenges, uh, how we did that, what we changed for the hardware, why we we changed it. Um, and since last year we were only 10 teams uh, during the, the semifinals, this year we are 24, I think. And it's, it's better because you have more people, more people to meet uh, different nationalities, different uh, traditions, different ideas, and, and that's pretty cool. So it's really great to have you here. Uh, I would like to first start with a thank you to uh, our team. <laughs> because without them it would have been wouldn't have been possible this competition uh, and they uh, managed to organize everything for you and also Radesh the whole six months to um, prepare the technical infrastructure that yes as your car sometimes also fails <laughs> so it's a continuous development as you were also saying uh, I'm really happy to have you here it's the nicest mix and atmosphere that we had so far in the challenge and I say this really honestly uh, so many countries so many personalities that you have and really mixing and blending together and cooperating and seeing you also in the first night when you uh, were running through the cities and doing our challenges congratulations and congratulations on your hard work on uh, enjoying this competition and on believing in uh, in us that you can show and you can dedicate so much time and to um, yeah to uh, develop yourselves and uh, we really hope that this is a, a path in your future career. The competition is somehow outstanding. I would say it's also within Bosch something completely independent. Yeah, but it's a global event meanwhile. So we have succeeded to attract teams out of Canada, USA. Japan, India, so it seems that they have fun with it, yeah? learn something, train themselves and develop themselves to the next step. So it's really somehow awesome to see year on year this kind of challenge uh, um, being a, a competition on an international level with more and more teams trying to apply and to succeed here. So I really like the motivation they showed us, so they really 
acted as a, as a team. They had really good results here in the challenge and they really enjoyed staying here. So there was a really good feeling here. Yeah, so I'm really impressed what they did besides their studies. To be honest, I'm, I'm proud like I think a father can be about a child because when we had this first idea several years ago, we started to discuss to have a small competition with teams from some universities and to see where we are today in the competition, international, several countries, I think more than 50 teams applied to this competition. I'm really proud and honored that this developed so well and I can't wait to see what comes. And it was so well organized. I would say Bosch is the top organization who really put a huge effort to make it successful. And it's not only cooperation with IEEE, I think this is good for the future of our young professionals. And IEEE especially, we have the same goal. And that is the way we should pass the message to the society, pass the message to young generations, young professionals, and let them be actively involved be curious about technology, with hand build something and also build a network, understand technical details, also understand the importance of cooperation. When I came here, it was like extremely beautiful. When we, we went to the, the work offices, it was like the perfect place to work for me. It was absolutely beautiful, yes. I love the city and I love the people. Oh, I love the city. This is my first time in Europe and I'm glad it's in Cluj. Amazing city. And the people and the architecture here is so beautiful. I've never seen that before. When we finished the, the, our run last, uh, last year in BFMC 2021, we just uh, told each other that, okay, what we will do for the next car? <laughs> I really feel like it's one of a kind experience and uh, it's an opportunity to uh, meet so many people that uh, work on the same thing and want the same thing as us and uh, uh, the fact that it's so multicultural it's amazing uh, and the opportunity to showcase everything we've worked on uh, is great. So I feel it's satisfaction yes. of uh, a well achieved uh, result uh, that we've done and to see the uh, happy faces of the uh, of the students that are really enjoying and uh, having fun uh, fun here. So how we feel? Really proud of us. We yeah. were there, and even with the price on the hands, we were like, "Come on, I cannot believe it." We feel very happy, and we are happy not only for for the prize. The prize was just the last thing. Uh, we are happy for for being here. Uh, for meeting all, all those teams uh, for the party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, mainly, yeah, uh, the, this week was, uh, uh, was great. The testing, the semifinals, the finals, everything. So yeah, we, we had a great time and we are happy for this.